What's going on YouTube? Fable hey, Grimro, giving you guys another Vanguard uh, tech profile. I'm giving you guys Dimensional Robos this time. Um, this is a, a immensely, immensely fun deck. If you guys watch the show, um, you probably became a fan of these guys really quickly because of just like how they portray sort of like their bosses and they give you like the fancy like, you know, uh, animation, music and stuff like that. Uh, this deck is absolutely brutal. Um, and provides a lot of uh, effects that, you know, uh, <laughs> just kill your opponent. It's great. Uh, let me get to the profile um, and explain some of the stuff that's going on here as I go. Uh, your starter is going to be your Go Yusha. Uh, he, you, you can also run the Great Three Searcher, which is pretty nice, but the superior ride that Go Yusha gives you for getting to your grade threes as you're a very very grade three oriented deck i think i run like 10 in here uh for a bunch of reasons which i'll get to the main one uh, in a little bit um but he he allows a few things first he's a dimensional robo uh grade zero so you can call him for your rear guard uh and even if you don't get his skill off his skill is you can choose four of your rear guard with dimensional robo in its name, put them in your soul, and then if you have a grade two or greater vanguard, you can search for a grade three uh, and superior ride it. So he allows for um, a superior riding of any grade three from your deck, uh, as well as a dimensional robo on rear guard, so you can you know put him to your soul with his own skill, uh, or allows for uh, some of the other dimensional robo-oriented effects like the... Uh, uh, reverse as well, so you can. He's also a target for that to, to, to lock. So he is the uh, the most superior of starters for this clan. Uh, trigger lineup: we got eight crit for your dimensional robo triggers. Uh, this deck, you you want to pressure your opponent as much as possible with criticals, um, but since you're uh, your vanguards gonna be doing it a lot. I also run four uh, draw triggers just to gain all the advantage. As things like your starter and some of your other units, uh, because you're bonusing so much early on to get your um, to get to get to your grade three as fast as possible, you need to reclaim uh, some of that advantage. So I'm running like the standard uh, eight crit four draw to sort of balance it out. I see some people run running twelve crit. To maximize the number of crits, and I see some people running like six draw and six criticals. Uh, whichever, it's, it's all preference for you. It just depends if you want to focus more on the pressure or focus more on the uh, maintaining card advantage. And then your standard four dimensional robo heals. Uh, grade ones, we got four perfect guards. Uh, I'm running one diamond ace because I. Apparently short a uh, Dimensional Robo um, Perfect Guard. It doesn't matter quite as much. It only matters if you have to call him to uh, the Rear Guard, which does happen at times. So you're trying to get your Goyusha skills off um, as fast as possible to like, get a really quick kill on your opponent. Um, but just pretend that's a Dimensional Robo uh, Perfect Guard. Self-explanatory. Four Dimensional Robo, 10k Grade 1 attackers. For Just like with every other clan, they most of them run run these because it really really helps for uh not only early game pressure but also if you're you know down an attacker you can just call him up from a booster and he'll be a 10k attacker uh and you know pretty much every card in this deck is a dimensional robo so he's always going to be valid three dimensional robo die braves uh he's a nifty little effect where if he's in your soul, so if you ride him or if he's put into your soul by one of your uh, skills, like with Goyusha, you can uh, put him into your drop zone and then your Dimension Police Vanguard gets the ability that when it hits, you can uh, Counter Blast 1 to draw a card. So, uh, sort of a nice way to like replace himself, give you a little bit more pressure uh, for your Vanguard. Usually it's not quite as effective when you get to your grade threes because by then you should be like hitting for game anyway but uh definitely makes your grade two drop 
if you're able if you don't use Gogusha skill at that moment, it makes your grade two drop um, a lot more threatening as you're gonna be able to get a free card off of uh, his ability. And then three of this guy. Uh, Commander Laurel, he is uh for a while, he was thought as pretty gimmicky, but then as Dimension Police sort of got better and better um, grade threes, not only Dimensional Robos, but also uh, the Metal Borgs for the Legions as well, they run four of him. Um, this guy is insane. So he allows you to choose four of your Dimensional Police rear guards and retire them. When your Dimension Police Vanguard attack hits, you may pay the cost, and if you do, it will be standard. So, much like the same idea that, like, you have Cat Butler and Risers, this is a Reader Guard that lets you restand um, your uh, Vanguard uh, at the cost of resting four Reader Guards. So, him as well as, as Go Yusha are the reason why you want to sort of play the advantage game with this deck, as you're going to probably commit to the field very early to try to use either one of these skills. And then, um, but when you do, you're going to, you know, it's a very high risk, high reward uh, strategy. But, you know, it wins you games when you're on your break ride, die Kaiser turn. Uh, four 12k attackers. 12k attackers, like, are always good. Four dimensional robo Kaiser. This guy, uh, he's pretty boss. He's sort of like a mini, um, Grade 2 Break Ride of itself. I think there's another Cogger that actually has a similar ability but has like restraint, so it's not good. But he's a standard 9k, so he's solid on rear guard. But he is your main uh, guy that you want to ride for your Grade 2 drop. As when you ride a Grade 3 over top of him, that unit gets plus 5,000 power. Um, he works very, very well with the regular Dayusha. So um, I'll explain sort of like the order you want to go things with him. Uh, ideally, this is at least what I like. Uh, and then he also gives things like your, you know, your reverse and your um, great Dayusha, like, you know, extra power to hit. So, he's very, very nice. And then a one of Dai Beret, I really wish I could run more of him, but unfortunately, sort of, space is kind of limited with all my great threes. Um, but he has a very nice effect in that you can uh, counter blast one, put him into your soul, and then. Your Vanguard with the Dimensional Robo gets plus 4,000, so he works uh, very, very well with the uh, base Dayusha again to give him the 4,000 for that extra crit. And then when the attack hits a Vanguard, you can retire one of your opponent's uh, rear guards. So much like Die Brave, um, you're giving your Vanguard an extra ability um, that you know, when it hits, it's going to absolutely destroy your opponent's day, because you're, you're going to be hitting it for two or three critical, um, most likely with your Vanguard, and then you're going to be able to get Droll and Retire skills on top of that. Now, here's the guy on the Grey Threes that pulls everything together, and that is quite possibly one of the best break rides in the game, and that is your Die Kaiser. Now, what this guy does... Um, He's going to give, for a Counter Blast of 1 on your Break Ride turn, 10,000 power to your uh, Vanguard, standard for all the Break Rides, and then plus a Critical. So, you know, really, really nice when you're getting extra Criticals to your Vanguard. Uh, but here's where things get interesting. Your Vanguard also gains the ability that when it Drive Checks a Grade 3 Dimension Police, you can choose one of your opponent's Guardians and retire it. And that unit's effects that cannot be hit is negated. So what this guy does is if you drive check a grade 3, you get to retire one of your opponent's guards. If they're guarding with a perfect guard, the perfect guard effect is negated. So I've seen people guard with like two perfect guards just to, you know, try to avoid the skill. And then you drive check to grade 3s and then bye bye two perfect guards, you're going to hit for 3 critical. Um, this guy is absolutely insane and is an absolute game ender if you are able to drive check. Um, when you want to, especially if you're able to get uh, a Laurel play on top of your Break Ride turns, you need to restand your Vanguard under this retiring skill. It's great. So you're either going to force your opponent to like guard with just to flat out over guard with 
as much as possible so that your attack's not going to hit. Um, and he also has uh, the rather unique effect of negating, of retiring cards in the Guardian Circle. You get to retire perfect guards. It's it's absolutely glorious to like just see this the, the rage that that card ensues. Um, on to the rest of the Grade Threes. Uh, we have two Super Dimensional Robo Dayusha. He is your uh, you know old school Dayusha. Uh, even though he's 10k, he has a very very good skill that when his uh, power is 4,000 or greater before the attack step, he gets an extra critical. So he's going to be swinging with two critical um, most of the time when you have him out. Uh, he's the one that especially works well with your Kaiser. You are great too. So I'll explain this play now as I'm going through this. As you're going to have your Go Yusha on rear guard, um, whatever other dimensional robos that you so choose. Put four into the soul um, with Kaiser as your vanguard. This is the first guy you're probably going to want to ride, either uh, him or your break ride to get to that, uh, depending on where you are in the game. Uh, and then he will get the plus 5,000 power, and that will trigger his skill to get the extra critical. Uh, and then this way, you can either get all your cross ride drops down, or then ride your break ride over top and then ride over top from there and that way you're you have your break ride uh your break ride power plus your cross ride power um very uh, uh very 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 key point to the deck so two of him as you know a cross ride number and to get off of uh go yusha three of the reverse um this guy's pretty cool as much like the uh um, Dementia Police monsters like Zeal, he lets you, and uh, like I think uh, the Enigman did this too. Uh, he lets you lower the attack power of your opponent's vanguard. So at the um, cost of a counterblast one and locking two of your dimensional robos, um, your opponent's vanguard gets minus ten thousand power. And then um, he's also cross rides so if he gets the plus two thousand if you have the regular regular Dayusha in the soul. So. Again, it's forcing your opponent to uh, heavy guard, uh, 10,000 power, that's exactly like, you know, how much one, they're going to be guarded with an extra card in their hand. Um, and then when you're riding this over top of your uh, die Kaisers, it's, um, you're, you're going to be forcing a lot of guard and just the pressure. The downside with the reverse is that he has little to no conjunction with your laurels as the uh, the locking ability of your reverse is going to conflict with the restanding ability of laurel so you have to sort of um, see which one is more important if you want to try to force more guard with um, your uh, reverse Dayusha or if you want to try to restand with your laurels uh, just depends what you, what you want to do with it regarding what the situation it comes to in the deck. Uh, but he alone, he's pretty nice. Uh, very cool. Very cool card. And then lastly, I'm running the one of um, Ultimate Dimensional Robo Great, Di Great Dayusha. He's the one that works a little bit best with uh, Laurel and sort of is like this deck's finisher. So he is a uh, limit break. He's a cross ride with the... Uh, Base Dayusha as well, so he's 13,000 power with this in the soul. And then, uh, during your turn, if the number of cards in your soul, Dimensional Robo, is three or more, he gets plus 2,000 power and plus a critical. So, on top of the 3,000 or the 2,000 power for the uh, break ride, I mean the uh, cross ride, he's going to get an extra 2,000 power, so he's going to be 15, and then an, an extra critical, so it's going to be uh, two crit. Now, this on top of a Die Kaiser. So you have your Die Kaiser, and let's say you get you know the most ideal of everything. This is like the ideal thing. You're gonna have your uh, Die Yusha in the soul, Die Kaiser, and you're gonna cross break ride your ultimate um, ultimate Die Yusha. So he's gonna get the 2,000 power uh, from Go Yusha. The I mean, from um, 
the regular Dayusha, the 10,000 power plus a critical from your brake ride, as well as if you, so he's three critical right now, you're going to have plenty of uh, Dimensional Robes in your soul to get the other power and critical bonus. So he's attacking for three critical on his own right there. Uh, and then you're going to either drive check more critical triggers to increase the pressure that he's going to give you, or you're going to drive check grade threes to retire your opponent's guardian so that your attack is most likely to hit. And then if you're lucky enough to have as much card advantage as you know you can with Laurel, you can rest your rear guards to re-stand him with Laurel, attack again, and again, he's still going to have all that critical pressure, plus whatever you drive check, plus um, if you still get the grade 3 drive check, you're going to retire Guardians. Uh, so he's he's a very nice finisher to the deck, where uh, the reverse is a little bit more grindy, so you have to kind of pick and choose when to use his effect, versus when you want to use Commander Laurel's effect. So if you don't have the rear guards for Laurels, the lock two with uh, Reverse Dayusha is maybe a little bit more handy. Whereas if you're on your break ride turn, uh, you are going to probably want to try to use Laurel and the drive check the grade three as much as possible. Um, again, this deck has very, very um, a wide variety of ranging options at the grade three because you're running. 10 grade 3s, 4 different ones, so there's a lot of combos you can do with this deck. It's very grade 3-centric, um, grade three centric, uh, a very Vanguard-centric, So, um, and the absolute rage that this card induces is just hilarious. This is a super fun deck to play, um, pretty competitive if you're able to get everything going right, uh, extremely, extremely dangerous deck because you're going to be hitting for 3 or 4 critical just constantly. Um, and then this deck is getting more support, so you can either go with a pure die, uh, like the pure uh, cross ride with the regular Dayusha and either either of your two cross rides. You can go the pure break ride with Die Kaiser in one of the two. You can do the mix like I have. They're also getting a cross break ride for um, Kaiser as well, uh, who's pretty good his own right as well. So this deck's gonna change, evolve, and stick around for a little while even in the season four. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching YouTube and peace out.